Page 43, Chant of the Monks. Now, oh, it's more than one monk going to get in on a party here. That's basically the same thing we just had on page 42, except now we're using both hands. The notes are the same for the right hand, what you already done, I think. But we're adding the left hand. You see, it looks a lot longer on page 43. Well, actually, it's the same as page 42, because 42 has a repeat sign, and page 43 doesn't. They've written out all the notes. Because they could have done the four five measures, whatever that is, and then put in a repeat sign and left it at that. But instead of that, they printed it all out. Either way, there's no, why do you do this or that? Ask the publisher. Now on these left hand, I don't know if you've had these notes or not, but if not, you got them now. You need to know the names of the notes in the music. But they're going to be the same letter names as the right hand. You're going to play it in octaves. They're playing the same note names. So I will leave it to you to drill the left hand and get these notes. Play it and say it. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, D. And the idea between playing it and saying it is that when you see the note and you say the note, you also hear the note. It all goes together. Don't leave out some part. It's all important. But the left hand's just doing what the right hand is doing. That's all this is. So you have a note, a monk down here, and a monk up here, and they're going to, okay. They go through the routine for learning a piece of music, or the routine I use, and I look it over, I see it's three lines long, fine. Treble and bass clef, four, four time signature. We have both hands playing together, and they're playing the same notes. Quarter notes, half notes, and a whole note at the end or so. So we get the notes, and you've already gotten the notes because you page 42, you, you can already play this. And then add in the articulation, lift up, and this is both hands here. Lift up. Lift up. It's like, lift, just a little lift. It's like taking a breath. Uh, then the dynamics, well, it's the same. It's loud at the beginning, both hands. And then I measure, what, six? You're soft. Just like you were on page 42. Speed, same thing, you're, you're going slow. My slow for now, it could go a little slower, a little faster. Don't go too slow, it doesn't work on piano. I mean, this this just drags. It's just because the piano, you play a note and it dies away. You play a note and it dies away. You play a note and it dies away. It needs to flow. It's just a slow flow, is all. If you sing it, that's up to you. you sing all you want to. Okay. At the bottom of the page, they want you to transpose this to a G penna scale. So let's just cover this. It's a bit of a review. Remember, a penna scale is a five note scale. You're in a five finger position here. Well, we're in a C penna scale because we're five notes and the bottom note tells you what it is. It's a C, so it's a C penna scale. So a G pin scale, you just got to find a G somewhere. I can go here, or I can go here, go anywhere you want, wherever. But it's a five finger position and the bottom note's a G. Now when you're doing this, you are reading finger numbers. You want to just play the right same finger number. You're just playing the same fingers. One way of transposing, I prefer another method, but we, we'll get to that later. Maybe. Let's play this together slowly and make sure you, it's okay. All the notes and rhythms are there. I do, I'm not doing the louds and softs. I'll play it all about the same. Let's just check and make sure we're okay there. I'll give us four counts. Now when I go really, really slow like this on the play with me, I tend to drop the hand, the wrist a little bit on every note because I play by weight and I'm letting the weight feel it. And so I'm doing that with a... I'm just dropping with each one. I want to stay relaxed. 
throughout. So when I go a little faster, then I can start grouping the notes together with the wrist drop I have. So I can like do a measure at a time there because I'm going faster. It depends on how fast I'm going and what the music needs as to when I'm dropping the wrist. I encourage you get in the habit right now on the play with me is when they're slow, drop the wrist on every note, on every beat. One, two, ready, go. There's a, a duet for this, it's on page 42. I'd like to play that, and you play what you just played. But this time I need you to go up an octave on the keyboard. So just pretend, remember an octave is an eighth, an interval of an eighth, it's letter to letter. Just pretend middle C instead of here is here. Go up to this C, so instead of here, you're up here. Play it all up here. And I'll give us four counts, let's try. One, Two, ready, go.